Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dion. Where is it? It's right here. <laughs> Can I drop it? I'll be right back. We start here with chapstick. <laughs> this is the crazy tornation for those of you who are new here. That's part of the crazy. We have fun on our channel and when stuff doesn't work the way we want it to, we keep this troll train riding anyway. Not caring too much what the beauty community standards are regarding, you must use this brand, you must use this tool, you must use this technique, but it's just for us to embrace our natural features, enhance them when we want to because we love playing in face paint, but not because we feel like we have to. And so that is the concept, wear what you want to wear and rock it with confidence. I do curse on my channel sometimes, I think I might today, so be warned, this is what else you'll see here. I have a package here and I already feel like a fool. I really do and I'm gonna to explain to you why. And you guys are gonna be like, why? I'm gonna explain it to you. This is a package from the Nessa Myricks. My first time purchasing from her website. I'm looking at the invoice. I did order the light work experience, the volume three. And FOMO hit me hard and usually I don't get FOMO. I can count on one hand the times that I've ordered a pre-release and each time I did, I regretted it. But why I'm saying I feel like a fool is, I asked on her Instagram, I sent the DM, there's lots of samples in here, which is nice. I asked if there were glitters in here because my eyes don't tolerate glitter. And I also asked if these were pressed pigments because my eyes don't tolerate pressed pigments. A week later, I did not get a response. And I'm just like, hmm, because this thing is like $85 right and so a week went by and I sent another message but just like a finger pointing up to the previous message another week went by still no message and I did notice on her post that I'm sweaty y'all just went out and checked my mail because I got an email saying we delivered and so I went out and got it so I'm just a sweaty mess and so I saw that she was or someone from her team was commenting to people's comments on her post and so I said okay I'll try this and so I posted the same question, said that I sent two DMs, didn't hear back, it's been two weeks, does anybody know the answers to these questions? I still receive zero reply, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, her stuff is not cheap. And so the least you can do is reply to messages, especially when they're asking specific questions. You know what I mean? And also on her website, and somebody mentioned in one of their videos that... If you don't reply, well not reply, if you don't message in within two days of when you received your item, your message will not be responded to. And they were saying, so basically you're just going to be ignored if it's the third day or more past when your item was delivered. And that is to me some bullshit because we're spending money for this stuff. And so yeah, I ordered it and I feel like a fool and I paid for two day shipping because I'm going away and I didn't want this sitting in my mailbox for like a week when it's like 90 something degrees outside every day. So... I did decide to, if I do purchase something from her, I'll just get it from Sephora. I only have one other item from her, and I did purchase it from Sephora. It was an eyeliner. I was not impressed with it. I would not repurchase it because for the price point, what I was already using was a lot less expensive, and it was like three times as much product. So there's this little thing in here, hashtag skin obsessed. There's two of them don't know why I don't think there's stickers because I'm there's nothing on the back to peel it off maybe it is is it a sticker I, I don't know what this is because I'm not able to peel it off as if it is a sticker so the samples that are in here y'all just someone did reply to my comment saying wow they haven't responded yet two people commented that there are no glitters in here great um, and somebody did say they're pressed well excuse me multi-chrome pigments but that doesn't mean that they're actually pigments it could just be pigmented shadow and when I looked on the Sephora site once it launched on Sephora it did say press shadows and so I'm like okay well hopefully this will work for me and I kind of think it will but I'm still feeling some kind of way about the customer service part especially as I said when we're spending this kind of money so there's a, a sample for main squeeze and this one is juice boost it says both of these say Yummy Skin Glow Serum. So I have two samples of that. There's a sample of Yummy Skin. And I have not tried any of these products. 
This is Vision Flush Lip, Cheek, and Eye Color. So I have samples of those. And I will try these, but I just really have a bitter taste in my mouth. I was going to say something way off topic. Um, <laughs> not off topic, but probably inappropriate for this channel. And there's this card in here about the chrome flakes, which me and flaky stuff, so I won't be using those. But this is just a card that's talking about it. Six ways to color fix and explains what you're going to do with those. And I am a little interested in these, but I don't think enough to try them. Like if I won one in a giveaway, I would definitely try it. But I'm just like, the customer service stuff is just really hitting me in all the wrong spots. Get inspired. Vanessa Myricks University. Learn from Vanessa Myricks and Friends. And another sample um, of this one. So they did send two of these, which is nice. So if one works, then I can try the second one. So this is the palette. Call me a fool, y'all. I really do feel like a fool. Because um, if by chance I'm not able to use this, like if my eyelids don't like it, I'm just going to have to try and sell it when I could have just waited to get it from Sephora and not had an issue if I needed to return it. So this is what the box looks like. It's good for 12 months. After you open it, it says, I do have notes here. And so I am going to read off my notes, but I am going to chop up the video so it'll seem like it flows. This is what it looks like. Polaris or Polaris, depending on the pronunciation. I've heard it pronounced both ways. Opulescent yellow to sea foam green dual chrome gel. A luxurious opulent all over creamy spotlight. The tip says tap with finger for an ultra chromatic cheek topper. So this is a cheek topper. Okay, this one I do know is a highlighter. This is Strawberry Moon, which was in the palette, gifted to me by Smiley Shani. Hey girl, hey. And so I do know that this is a highlighter. And it says for Strawberry Moon, iridescent pink lilac holographic powder, a reflective semi-translucent and cushiony prismatic highlighting shade. So that's that one. I am going to swatch these on my forehead today. Galaxy Smoky Till Green and Violet Shift Multi-Chrome Pigment. Martian Icy Blue Green and Lilac Shift Multi-Chrome Pigment. Soul Gilded Khaki Gold Powder Cream, a plush powder cream hybrid. Some were saying this on its own is useless. Putting it under a shadow, it creases. On its own, it creases. Some say this is best used for just inner corner highlight or for lower lash line. And I'm saying this based on videos I've seen of the entire palette, the one that had the four highlighters in the middle. And so that's what I'm going off of from what I've heard about this shade here. Aura Electric Plum and Olive Green Shift Multi-Chrome Pigment. Gaia or Gaia Bronze and Emerald Shift Multi-Chrome Pigment. Solar Rain Peachy Pearl and Platinum Shift Multi-Chrome Pigment. The ingredient highlights from the Sephora website said vegan pressed powder formula, metallic finish, cream formula without parabens and cruelty free. So that's what helped me feel better about being a fool. And so I am confident that these two, three, four, five shades, I will not have an issue with. But time will tell and we will see. So I am going to be using full-ended sponge applicators. I do not like using my fingers for makeup. So we're going into Polaris or Polaris. <gasps> this is like super, super, super creamy. This is what it's looking like on the sponge tip. I want to do it this way so that way you may be able to see this shifts when I turn my forehead versus going this way. So I did dip in again. So that's what that one's looking like. We want to go across to Galaxy. So this is this one. This is Galaxy. Martian. Soul. I should have started this one further over. So that is soul. 
I don't know if you're seeing anything. Strawberry Moon, which I do already know I like as a highlight. So we're going to start this over here. So that's Strawberry Moon. I'm going to go back in. Let me know what your thoughts are on the customer service stuff. And so as I said, like if I try those samples and I do like them, I'll just purchase from Sephora. I am not ever again, this is Aurora, purchasing offer for a website because you can at least you get back to me. And it was a legit question. Is it pressed pigments? Or is there glitter in it? Like those are legit questions. So that's Aurora and to be ignored. And this is Gaia or Gaia, depending on how you pronounce it. And seeing that they were responding to other people's posts, well, their comments to, to their posts, it's like, okay, I really feel ignored because you are responding to people. Someone, you know, a lot of comments were, oh, I can't wait to get this palette. And it's like, thank you, I think you'll love it. And then I'm asking you a, a legit question and I'm just ignored. Like, that's not a good feeling. And Solar Rain, this is the last one. My other concern was with this was how the lighter shades would show up on my skin tone. Like, would it really be like, wow. Like, yeah, these here, wow. This one here, definitely wow. This one reminds me of, this way it reminds me of video chat from Adept Cosmetics to Heather Austin palette. But this way it doesn't. This way it does. And so I was just wondering, you know, how these are going to look on me because I do like bold colors. I like bright colors. I like dark colors. I'm, I'm not really a neutral type person. So that's what that's looking like. I'm going to go back to Soul because I want to do a, a wider swatch because I really want to see. And this one is the cream powder. So I'm going to start here. This is this one right here, but I just want to do a, a longer swatch so we can see if there are shifts in it. And if not, that's fine, because as I said, they were saying that it's best for the tear duct area or lower lash line, which doesn't really matter if you see the different shifts. And so these are the shades in this palette. And now that I've messed in it, <laughs> messed up the, um, the overlay or whatever you want to call it, now you can see the different shifts especially in this one right here and actually this one actually all of them now that i've dug in it you can see the shifts in all of them except well this one yeah except these two so you can see what all the shades will look like with the shifts and sorry for the reflectiveness so that'll be it you'll see me later i'll have on a different shirt um i have my base face done and we're just going to do a quick look and so See you in a few. Did you miss me? It's been, oh gosh, about 13 hours. If this eye, if you see it looking patchy, this is the primer. I'm at the end of it. Look at this. This side blended smoothly. This side has like little balls on it. So if there is an issue with the shadow, it's most likely the primer. I just got in 10 minutes ago, did a quick base face. Brow pencil that came in Ipsy. I actually like it. Prime my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Put on NARS Radiant Creamy Conceal and Caramel. And then I topped it just right here with Sucre de Orge to brighten a little bit. I set my under eye with, pulled out the wrong powder, Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Translucent Setting Powder. That's what I used to set under my eyes. I know I just said that. I apologize. For foundation, I use Max. Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation in NC43. That's what that looks like. For my cheeks, I wanted to keep it neutral because we're going to be using highlighters from in the palette. And so I just put on Desert Orchid. Perfect flush for my skin tone, right? For my complexion. Yeah. And I like how it deepens the natural hollow I have too. And that's not even intentional. So that's everything on my face. Um, so we're going to jump in, but before we do that, I just want to remind you, Polaris or Polaris, this is a cheek topper. The tip is to use it with your finger 
to tap it on your cheek. We know that Strawberry Moon is a cheek highlight. Soul is the cream to powder formula that it's been said it's only good for lower lash line or tear duct area on the lid they say it creases this is a cream and it is like super creamy and so we're going to jump in the brushes i'm going to use are hourglass number three brushes let me pull out two more because i'm going to do two lid shades on each eye which is not preferred when dealing with dual chromes but i want to see what they're going to look like and so what i'm thinking and I, was, I looked at them, but not too long because I didn't want to overwhelm myself. But we're going to put first half of the lid, second half of the lid, first half of the lid, second half of the lid. And with the shifts, it may work, it may not. But that's what we're going to do. For transition shade, this is a Scott Barnes number 62 brush. And I am going to go into my Natasha Denona Camel Palette, which is great for me when I just need transition or if I want to go a little bit deeper or to darken the outer corner. So I'll be using, I'll start with this one, but I'll show you when I get to it what I'm going to use. If the hourglass brushes don't work for the lid shades, I do have sponge tip applicators here ready to go. This is a LaRouche dual fiber brush. We're going to use this for Polaris or Polaris, the cream that says tap one with your finger. I don't like using my fingers and I don't want to use a sponge tip applicator because that'll just be too intense and we're going to use this brush that came in ipsy for strawberry moon as a cheek highlight so those are the brushes that i'm going to use so we're going to just jump right in martian first half of the lid it looks like it's picking up well and i'm doing my lid shades first i usually do my lid shade first anyway because the color sticks if i did my transition and crease colors first those shades would be down on my lid because of all the puffiness. And so you see what happens. Here's my crease. If I put shadow there, guess what? It's going to end up on my lid. And so I know I say this in a lot of my tutorials, but this is why I do my lid shades first. And I do take them up into the crease area. One of the challenges in working with dual chromes and multi-chromes is in the mirror down here, it may look like there's a gap. But when I look up here, it's not. It's just the shift in it that's making it look like there's a bald patch. We're going to take a clean one and we're going to go into Galaxy and that's going to go on the outer half of the lid. So you, you see, this is creamy. They are going on with a brush. I'm not saying don't use your finger. I'm not saying don't wet your brush. I'm not saying any of that. This is just how I do my makeup because I don't like using my fingers and I don't like doing extra steps um, to wet my brush, though I will do it if it's absolutely necessary but in that case i'll use my sponge tip applicator because that to me does mimic a finger so this is this eye i don't know about blending because with the shifts it's going to look mixed up anyway we're going to take gaia or gaia with a clean hourglass brush but at least we're seeing i am feeling a few flakes on my face at least we're seeing how they go on directly on top of a tacky primer with a brush. And I think that's important. So you don't have to, I'm feeling chunks on my face from this one. And that's because I'm sweeping it instead of just patting. But that's all we're gonna do for that shade. I'm just bringing it up. I know that came out funny, just a little bit higher. I kinda wanna go higher on this side too, but we are gonna do a transition shade. Now we're gonna take Aurora, this shade here, on a clean hourglass brush. And we're going to put that over here. With the shift, it looked like this would go with this because this has that purplish shift to it. But then I, I didn't want to spend too much time overthinking it. And we're just going to do some very minor blending in here because the shifts are going to just do what they do anyway if you see the shifts. I do want to take this side up a little higher. And I can tell what color was on here from the brush. And so we're going to take this higher right here. And then we're going to take the brush that had that second shade on it. And we're going to bring that up a little bit higher. I'm going to go back with hmm, this shade. These are creamy shadows. Just taking it just a little bit higher. And that brush with that second shade Aurora. That's the only one I remember off the top of my head what it was called. So we're just bringing it up a little bit higher. 
as I usually say at this point when I do the lid, this could be your look. If you put this shade here, this shade here, this one here for your other look, this shade here, that can be your look. Do your liner if you want to, a mascara. So we're going to put that down right now. And we're going to go into the Camel Palette, this shade in the middle, which is Safari, with this brush that I showed you. I should take out another one of these for the other eye. So yeah, so this is the one I just... Put the shadow on this is the clean one so we're going to do this over here i'm going to take the clean one go into that same exact shade i just didn't want to mix up the lid colors so that's why i'm using different brushes even though it's the same shade i'm going to take two scott barnes i didn't intend on doing this number 63 brushes this shade here which might be a mistake i need to just stop where i am right and we're going to just put this right here, which may not make a difference, and a little bit right here. Just to give a little definition, even though I am liking the shifts and I don't want to take away from that. I like this question mark. Take that same exact shade on the clean brush, and we're going to put that over here. We're going to do the same thing on the other eye, lightly sweep here but mostly just in this inner corner. I think I would like it better if I did have a darker shade there or if I would have just left it alone in the first place because I did like how it was looking. So team too much when I'm just trying to do more things. We're gonna take this one here. This is an Esam V27. We're gonna go into Galaxy, the shade here. And we're going to put that here in the outer corner because I don't like what that brown did. This is a Fenty 220 brush and we're going to go into Soul. And we are going to coat the tip of the brush. And I did not put a liner under here because this is a cream. So it should easily go on and set itself once it dries. Even though this shade is a powder cream, it's creamier than Natasha Denona Cream to Powder Formula, which I love her Cream to Powder Formula and her Creamy Matte. This is creamier, like very, very creamy. And so it's surprising to me how flaky it is. I do like that look though. We're gonna go into Polaris. This gel that says use with your finger with this brush from Ipsy. Yo, this, this is really creamy. And we're gonna just tap that right here because it says it's a cheek topper. Tap it on your cheek with your finger, it says. Ooh, that's gold. You see that? As of right now, this moment, I am digging this palette. Strawberry Moon, which I do know that I like. This is, I am like tapping it off and it is snowing. And we're gonna put that on this side as a highlight. This, I, I don't remember this being, see how messy this is? This is Strawberry Moon. I don't remember this being that messy in the other palette, but you know what? Do you see that? Probably not. Um, maybe because I used a different brush, but I don't remember this being that freaking messy. So I'm just like scooping around the edge just to clean up the palette. But that's what that looks like. This is the Fenty Fly Liner in Cause I'm Black. I'm trying to think of a lip. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Mascara on upper and bottom lashes. Let me know what you're thinking so far of look number one, look number two. I know it's not ideal to do one look on each eye. My eyes are not burning. They teared momentarily, this one did, and I'm thinking it might just be the temperature change from when I came inside. Right, what are we gonna do for lip? Do I dare just pull a random lip? <laughs> Cause the last two times I did that, I was looking crazy in this quote, crazy troll nation. <laughs> I pulled this at random. Ooh, this is a Melt Nippy. This is the one that was gifted to me from Fabulous Fifiosity, it's Poser. Still smells nice. 
Yo, I am digging this. Wow. <gasps> Yo. This. What the. I am so glad I was over my microfiber cloth because. You see this right here? How it's wet? It just started dripping. I'm doing like this and this where it's wet started dripping on the cloth here. If that would have got on my clothes or on my carpet. But why is this leaky like that? Because it's, I keep it upright. You see how this is wet? I'm not going to touch it. But you see how all of that is wet? I was so excited. And now I'm going to get rid of that. Because I don't want to be chancing that dripping and spilling. Alright, so. And it's patchy right here. That caught me by surprise when I just saw it dripping. And I didn't double dip back into the tube. So, like, why all of a sudden did it just start dripping from up here, like under here? And I didn't shake it up or anything. What we're going to do, that still made another patch unless I'm seeing things. We are going to take this shade. Polaris or Polaris. This is a Fenty 230 brush. Oh, okay. That. Oh, this was not a good idea. Oh, man. We're going to use part of the sponge tip. Let's just do this. Because then it'll blend it together. And it's still a patch right there. Alright, this looks decent, I think. Let me know. So we've used everything in this palette. First half, this lid, second half, this lid, first half here, second half here. This shade, lower lash line on both. This shade, cheek topper, right here. Doot, doot, doot. And on the lips. It did work better with the sponge tip applicator. And strawberry moon cheek highlight, this right here. We've used everything in here. Right now, I can say I like it. Yo, this palette, though, is messy as hell. Look at my fingers. Look at this palette. Sorry for the glare. This, this is messy. Even this. You see this piece of plastic? You see all of this right here? Look at that. That it, it, It's just messy. This right here. Like, what the hell? It's just everywhere. In this palette so what I'll do is is after I use it I'll just take a clean brush and just dust all of that off like this is messy this is messy I don't I do oh my gosh I do see fallout I doubt that it would wash away this is the brush that I use wipe where I mean that just smeared it all right so don't try to wipe it away do your base face last because it's not going to wipe away. And I think it's because they're so creamy. Uh, or do your base face and just don't do your concealer. And then use your concealer to clean it up. Because this, this this is messy. These shadows do stay. Um, I need to clean that. That's, I, I don't like mess. I don't. And it, It's okay. Let me know what you think of both the looks. Also let me know what you think of the cheek topper. The cheek highlight, the gel lower lash line, and how do you think these colors look together? Because we're just experimenting. That's what we do here. I'm going to go. Not going to keep you long. You will see me soon. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. You'll see me in the next video, which will be popping up. So just hang tight and click on something and just kind of browse around and just show for a little while. If you're not subscribed, please do. Analytics say... 80% of you that watch my videos are subscribed, which is freaking amazing. So for the 20% of you who are here and you're not subscribed, please do. And so like, comment, all that good free stuff that helps me out. And you will see me soon. Thanks.